This week in Ron Eats, we're actually checking out a brand new place called New Beige in New Bedford, uh, downtown, right across from the uh, Play Arcade. Um, place is really, really nice so far. Uh, they've only been open in about a week. Um, they're a little busy, but they were able to accommodate and sit two of us right away, which is pretty awesome. Staff and management so far, first impressions are great. Uh, we ordered some drinks, and uh, let's take a look at the place around. Let's look at the place and see how it looks. We do have a quick service bar where you can come up and get things to go. They have empanadas, different salads, different things. They have all kinds of local goods from the Bepper. They showcase this table here with all kinds of local um, produce, local chocolates from Dorothy Cox, local peanuts from the beige, wicked hot salsa. Huh, I think wicked kicking hot sauce might have a place on this here shelf. I'll tell you that. Check out my uh, YouTube, I mean my uh, Facebook page, Wicked Kicking Hot Sauce, where I make hot sauces organic from local ingredients, local farms. Summertime will be starting, I'll be doing that soon. As you see again, they have more stuff for sale. They do um, are here for open for breakfast and lunch. Uh, coffees, quick to go sandwiches, eggs, bagels, stuff like that. So, of course, local Silmo syrups, which they use in their cocktails. Tables and other things are on that end, uh, more towards the front. Um, they have four tops. Uh, around the bar side, they have uh, three or four tube top tables, and then the bar is pretty big. Um, let's see when the drinks come. They looked pretty impressive online, so let's see if they can hold up to our first impression now. So our appetizer just came. This is the hummus and meringues plate. It has uh, silky chickpea puree, grilled lamb sausage, roasted eggplant, ta spices, and grilled naan bread. It looks incredible. Let's see. So first bite, I got a piece of the eggplant, as you can see, naan, with some of the air homemade hummus. Let's see. Oh, that's fresh. That's really tasty. Let's try a piece of the, the sausage. See? That is lamb sausage. Wow. That is really good. So far, so good. Hmm. Still waiting for our drinks, but I mean, the bar's jamming. First week open, the waitress is having to acclimate to the busyness of a Friday night. So I'm not giving any points off of that because food came relatively fast. We've been checked down three, four times. Manager and the owner has walked by and said hi. So far, New Bay is uh, living up to the hype. So these are our cocktails. This is the uh, rooftop garden here, which is vodka, matcha, simple syrup, and oat milk. And the other one is the black cherry curve, which is tequila, blackberry, coconut, and lime. They look just like they do online. The picture is, it does do it justice. Let's see how they taste. That's really, really good. Ooh. That is tasty. The rooftop garden. Anybody coming, if you like matcha and you like vodka, give that a try, because oh my. All right, I might try the next one. You try that already? All right, this one is the uh, blackberry curve. Cheers. Very good. That's really good. That's, that's really good too. So far, drinks. Appetizer hit. Drinks, taste, flavor, presentation hit. This is Ron Eats. Body Downtown Edition, folks. Here we go. Ooh, we yes, good. More to come. Our entrees have arrived. This is the uh, scallop, uh, seared scallops they do. It has a corn and mushroom succotash in the name of New Bedford, um, New Bedford's own sea scallops with a, looks like a pesto over the top. Looks delicious. And this is their pan seared salmon with coconut jasmine rice, a mango chutney, and um, crispy plantains over the top. Can't wait to dive in and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. First bite. It is kind of loud in here, so my audio is off. Sorry about that. As my 
My lovely lady is dropping plantain chips down her shirt. The flicks. <laughs> Let's try one of the scallops. Oh yeah. So look at that sear. I mean, you can't you can't beat that. Chefs in the kitchen know what they're doing with scallops. Wow. Would you try that? So New Bedford sea scallops already have a big reputation of being super sweet. But the way they caramelize them, it is like candy. Oh my god, that's so good. Let's try the uh, mushroom sucker pack. Corn sucker pack. It's delicious. Oh, that's nice. You can tell they already have tons of mushrooms in it. I'll bring it for a little view. Exquisite. That's all I could say. That's so good. This is probably the best scallop dish I've ever had in New Bedford. And that's huge. I make really good scallops. I can bring it to mine. But out at a restaurant, oh my god. That corn is super sweet. Mushroom sweet. The sauces are delicious. It's, the prices are typical of downtown, especially in a new trendy place. The scallop plate was 32, but guess what? You're getting one, two, three, four, five. You're getting five or six decent sized New Bedford scallops, and the flavor profile is. Is, is above anything I've had here in downtown. That's amazing. Wow. I mean, I'm gonna take a bite of the salmon and see how that tastes. So this is the salmon. I'm not a big salmon person, but I appreciate it when it's cooked, like good. Let's see. You see that's nice chai on it. It's still moist, not dried out. I'm not a big salmon person. People that know me don't like salmon. But that's really tasty too. If you're a salmon person, I would say, what do you think? Would you would you recommend that salmon? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. My 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 wife here is, is huge into salmon, and she said it's really good. She likes it. It's good. I mean, I stick my scallops every day, but it's really good. Drinks was 9 out of 10. Entrees are coming fast and hot and perfect. 10 out of 10. First week open is crazy. I got another drink coming, so let's see all that taste when it comes. Stealing my scallops, see? <laughs> so my next drink has come. It is called the Habanero. That's Habanero tequila, mango, lime, and soda water. It looks really, really uh, good, actually. Let me see how, uh, see if it holds up. All right, habanero. Let's see. Ooh, that's good. Man, they, that's tequila. That is strong. I love tequila. I'm a tequila person, so. So first step in Gamma. Look at that. Tajin rim. So first sip, you really get punched with the habanero. And it slowly goes away, you taste the lime. You have a lingering heat, but that's tequila, just you feel it. If you're a tequila person, you're gonna like this. So the habanero, again, second drink I've tried, well, third drink I've tried, and it lives up to the hype. So that's hard to do. I'll give my overall review once we're all done, finished up, and uh, this is New Beige, in New Beige. We are closing it out today at New Beige with their dessert martini, a pistachio martini. When they first were uh, experimenting with drinks and posting it online before the building was even put together, they were showing this drink and I said, I gotta come here and get it, it looks amazing. So let's see if the hype, again, the hype has, has, been, has been met. Everything so far has literally met expectations. So now is the truth, let's see if this does. The pistachio dessert martini. All right, here we go. That literally is a dessert box. That is extravagant. Oh my god, waste staff has been awesome. Management is awesome. Food and drink, awesome. Oh, I'll go for another one. That's dangerous because I can drink a lot of them. That's so good. 
for their pistachio martini, might as well go with what's in it. They use uh, vodka for horchata, as they say. <laughs> that Mexican drink, horchata. And um, pistachio. And it is just simplicity perfected. It is delicious. Horchata. So my overall impressions. They're a little pricey. We got twelve dollars a drink. We got um, four or five drinks and two entrees and appetizer. Came to one hundred and twenty-seven for tip. The quality is 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 really up there on par with some of the best restaurants I've been here in downtown New Bedford and in, in the New Bedford area. And it's only been open for dinner for food service for about a week. I can't wait to see what they do in a month's time. How they come out. How their food is. But I mean, I would say anybody want to try out. A real hot, trendy place. The chef here is uh, Joe Rigo, which is a local chef. He's won uh, Chopped uh, twice. He's been on Food Network Challenges. He's been featured in many restaurants in, from Connecticut to New York and Boston. Um, he owns a couple of restaurants here, and here he designed the menu. He worked with the owners, and he is the executive chef. So anything you get here is going to be from Joe Rigo's mind. He is an exceptional chef, you know, a chop champ, and it shows. Um, the entrees were delicious. Service actually was pretty, really, really good considering they've only been open uh, for like two weeks now total. Just started serving entrees and food, hot food in the kitchen for a week. Out of, uh, to my 10 point scale, I would honestly say already 8.5. And it's, again, it's only going to go up from there. Every single thing we got, from drinks to food to advertisers, matched their glamour shots they put online one-to-one. -one. That is not the case with most new restaurants. Our waitress, our first day was today, and she was re she handled everything very well. Management was super friendly. The owner was here uh, walking around, greeting us. He helped us get a table like right away, even though they were packed to the gills. Um, but again, support local. New Beige, downtown New Bedford, right across the street from Play Arcade on Union Street. Um, this has been Ron Eats, and just remember, you know, food brings everybody together from all walks of life, and as a people, we just gotta keep on eating. Till next time.